Good evening, friends. Welcome to this session. And uh, today is going to be inter an interesting session because we are exposing the kind of dark side that not only Bollywood has, but the Indian uh, film uh, television scenario also has. We've exposed this earlier also, but now let's go a little deeper and look at what's happening because uh, whether you like it or not, uh, this kind, the kind of influence that these uh, producers, you know, who are making these sort of uh, uh, serials or movies have on the public is actually very, very negative. And uh, so we will speak about this in detail as we go uh, through the through this story. So welcome to you all, friends, and uh, really nice to have all of you uh, in the session. So let us talk first about the lady uh, who has uh, thinks she is the queen of the television industry and people praise her and are called as the uh, Zarina of uh, you know Indian television industry. So let's go to uh, Ekta Kapoor. Now recently she was seen at the Katil uh, temple with her son who uh, born of uh, surrogacy and uh, you see that she's uh, there with a red shawl and uh, she's been doing everything going around of course with her attendance of course even when she goes to the temple uh, the attendants are, you know, picking the sun. She doesn't do anything. Even the plates are picked, uh, caught by her attendants. She just walks like a queen, you know, and sometimes throws bananas at the uh, beggars who sit outside. So this is something that we've got used to. And we're also used to the fact that, see, uh, you know, we wonder why she is so religious. She wears a million, uh, uh, you know, rings on her hands, you know, on her fingers. And uh, she's very, very uh, superstitious. And also the fact that she keeps going to the temples. Uh, so we, it does make us rather curious as to why this woman is so, uh, you know, I don't know whether it's religious in heart or whether it's just a ritual, uh, you know, sort of thing that she does. So welcome, uh, Nina. And welcome, Touch the Sky. Welcome, Gloria. And welcome, Ishan. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that are happening in the industry that uh, you know we find rather uh, you know sort of upsetting because you know that she started the trend of uh, you know, of uh, these serials which uh, pitch uh, the mother-in-law against the sister-in-law and the sister-in-law against the brother-in-law and everybody seems to be poisoning each other and then of course she brought in the uh, snakes as well and she is the woman who got the Padma award along with her best friend Karan Johar and we also know who are the people who pitch these people for these awards, despite the fact that they have not contributed even a cent to the uh, to Indian society or made it even, uh, you know, uh, in, or have left anything for people to emulate. Now, who is this uh, blue-eyed boy in her camp, in Ekta Kapoor's camp? You know, is uh, is you know one of the issues that we are taking up today. And also remember, friends, that. Uh, uh, you know, she's been in and out of uh, controversy. Welcome, Manoj and uh, Pooja. Thank you. Thank you always. Yeah. So, uh, you know, she's she's been a part of controversies right from the uh, time she uh, she came into the industries. Uh, so she's been a part of the plagiarism. She's been, she's been uh, sent arrest warrants. You know, actors have sued her for not paying them their salaries. And uh, also uh, actors and actresses, young girls and boys, have signed weird contracts, which have bound them for three years. And she has also created nefarious, vulgar content. The list keeps on going on. As, and as I said earlier, when uh, she wanted to uh, you know, develop adult content for men, you know, young men, she started Alt Balaji. And in Alt Balaji, they started, they started showing all sorts of stuff, uh, like Gandhi Bath and everything very similar to what Raj Kundra uh, Shilpa Shetty's husband was also doing. And in a sense, they were step by step tearing the uh, fabric of India, the social fabric of India, bit by bit, and we did not realize it. And what they did was even one more step, even more uh, uh, vicious, is that these serials got translated, or rather, they were made into other languages, from right from Kerala to other parts of the state. And these people started, you know, watching simple mothers and sisters and, uh, you know, earlier brothers and uh, sisters and sister-in-laws who were all living very comfortably together, 
suddenly started finding out ways from her serials, you know, how to become vicious. So it was a, not only this, it was also a lot of obscenity that she was throwing in the way. So let me just take uh, Gloria's message. Oh, and also, Miraji, her uh, show characters die and come back to life and blah, blah. And her, yes, absolutely. And when Shobha Kapoor doesn't have uh, Gloria, when Shobha Kapoor doesn't have enough money to pay them, they kill them in accidents. We are talking about the actors in their roles so that they don't need to pay them anymore. So that's also another tactic that she uses. Now, Ishani says there were so many rumors that Riddhi Cho, uh, Dogra and Ekta suddenly is going all kinds of projects, especially with Alt Balaji. Ekta has helped her friend not as much as she has helped Riddhi. Okay, so there are other relationships. Yes, there are relationships like that also that she, she has been, uh, people have been talking about. Now, my uh, most important point is that when SSR died, you remember, a case was filed against Aditya Chopra, Sajid Nadiyatwala, Sanjay, Leela Bansali, Bhushan Kumar, Ikta Kapoor, and director Dinesh. Now, the complainant had claimed that these persons did not allow uh, Sushant's movies to get released and removed him from at least seven films, which created the situation for Sushant that they say, you know, pushed him to uh, the extreme step, of course, which is they're insinuating is suicide. Now, this happened allegedly under conspiracy, and the late actor was not even invited to film functions because of these so-called biggies. Now, in the, in the case of another actor, which we'll also speak in detail about, also, uh, at that time, you know, the, uh, the deputy uh, you know, uh, uh, justice, that is Chandra Chud of Bombay High Court, he appointed an arbit arbitrator and instructed Ekta Kapoor not to arm twist the actor. We'll go to that story later and stop him from working for other producers outside Balaji. So you understand that this was a tactic that these people in Bollywood use. The moment you do not comply, the moment you do not play their game, the moment you know they do not uh, listen to you, then what you do is you show them the three-year contract. And then if, you, if they don't comply, uh, tell everybody not to work with them. So they are jobless in an in a expensive city like Mumbai. So you see how they, they, these are all mafia tactics that they use. So let me just take a, a few comments. Meena says, Meena Ji, when I was uh, in Kolkata, the Bates used to tell me that she had split families. Yes, because of her serial. You know, uh, Nina, when I go to different states, I used to find people glued to these kind of serials where you have venom, you know, thrown throw, throw across, you know, from mother to sister-in-law to daughter-in-law to everybody hating each other and, and uh, killing each other was just seemed like, you know, giving a, a piece of cake to somebody. So what was she trying to do? Was she trying to split the, uh, you know, society and make each one hate the other? So there was, there is a mission. You must understand that none of us, none of this is innocent. There is a mission behind this. So welcome, uh, Prem. Karthik, Aryan is podcast in a podcast with Rambi said a lot of movies were uh, stolen from him uh, because of Smriti. She got an award. Smriti loves Ekta. Yes, there are a lot of political connections as well, as you know, because she was not a person who deserved the Padma and yet she got the Padma. You remember also the fact that, see, during uh, after SSR died, she and Ankita Lokande very slyly, they decided to build a fund called Pavitra Rishta to uh, cash in on SSR's name and build a fund. And now after, and after a public outcry and uh, protests from the family, it was put to a stop. Because this was one of their ambitious materialistic plans, you know, to cash in on uh, SSR's name. Uh, welcome, uh, Prem. You're from South Africa. Welcome. Yeah. So now you remember also the fact that I'll just take you step by step and then we'll go on to the main, uh, main issue. The Punjab and Haryana High Court, you know, heard a petition filed by film and television serial uh, producer concerning a case registered against her and others by Nakodkar police in 2013. And uh, the producer, uh, Ekta Kapoor, and her mother, Shobha, and four members of her team were involved in the production of a serial, Pavitra Rishta and ZTV owner. All of them had been booked by the Nakodkar police under section 295-A of IPC for hurting religious sentiments of the Valmiki community. The case was lodged after Rauni Gill, president of Bhartiya Valmiki Saurabh Dharam Samaj, Samaj and a resident of Shankar 
a complaint to the police that uh, uh, the August 5, 2013 episode of the serial had made a derogatory and objectionable reference towards Maharshi Valmiki, which hurt the sentiments, religious sentiments of the community. Now, apart from Ikta and her mother, Meghna Amal, Samir Kulkarni, Bhavna Thakkar, and the actor who made these references had been uh, had been arranged as accused in the case. ZTV owner, without naming him, had also been mentioned in the accused case. The case was registered in 2013 and the petition was filed in 2014. Now, in another case, uh, you remember uh, there was obscene content which came into uh, her web, that is all series. It was at this time that she introduced Sunny Leon, who was a porn star. She introduced her to Bollywood and it was at this time that Tushar Kapoor, her brother, was very excited about you know, being featured with her. Thus started the uh, vulgar movies with a lot of obscenity and content in Alt Balaji. And you remember movies like uh, Gandhi Bath were being featured with women stripping and all sorts of things. Now, in this XXX, in her web show XXX, the Supreme Court slammed her, you know, because in that, an ex serviceman named Shambhu uh, Kumar filed a complaint against Ikta in Bihar's Begusaray for presenting armed forces of the country in an objectionable manner. Speaking on this matter, top courts slammed Ikta. Something has to be done. You are polluting the minds of the young generation of this country, it's available to all. Over the top uh, content is available to all. What kind of choice are you providing to the people? On the contrary, you are polluting the minds of youngsters. A bench of justice, Ajay Rastogi and C.T. Ravi Kumar said, the court ad added, every time you travel to this court, we don't appreciate this. We will put a cost on you for filing such a petition. Rohatki, please convey this to your client just because you can afford and hire the services. Of good lawyers, this court is not uh, for those who have voices. This court works for those who don't have voices. If these people who have all kinds of facilities, if they cannot get justice, then think of the situation of the common man. We have seen the order and we have our reservations. But after all this, you know, as you know, how uh, we always wonder that you know the common man, if he makes a small mistake, you no, know, uh, you know, he is penalized. But this woman keeps on apologizing, and each time. She is exempt from everything and she is never arrested. So how does she escape from the clutches of law is the question. Who are the powerful forces who help her each time? And after all, as you say, you know, she gets a prestigious award. And many of you, you know, see, many of you have been, uh, you know, speaking about the kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, influence that she has been having. She said, Ekta Kapoor is responsible, uh, one person said, for TV soaps to dress you know, when you see women dressed with hardly any clothes, they say that it is Ikta Kapoor's influence. At the Ambani wedding, you know, you will see that they say that the Urdu wood of Mumbai exposed like this, whereas the South Indian actors are very decently uh, dressed. Now, see, it's not only that. The fact that, see, they are developing content that is absolutely insensitive, insensitive about what is a society's needs. You can't watch a single web series these days. 10 minutes into the series and you and someone starts having sex. Cheating is getting promoted as if it's a multivitamin tablet, you know. Now, I, let me take you to a very serious incident. Now, in Andhra, three schoolboys raped an eight-year-old girl. They tried to enact uh, what they saw in porn clips. Now, who is to blame for this? It is porn movies and porn uh, serials that are, you know, influencing these children. And who makes this? We're talking about people like Ikta Kapoor, Raj Kundra, Karan Johar. These are the people who are filling our OTT and movies with these kind of obscene, you know, sex scenes and, you know, filling all sorts of ideas into young boys who don't even know what they're doing. So it's, it's re really strange that, you know, uh, people are not up in arms because it affects everybody. It affects, their, you know, your children. And it is not a good good uh, impact at all. So let me just take a few more comments before I go on. That's the sky. 7 to 12 p.m. was dedicated Ekta Kapoor serial time on many channels. Others were never given a chance to grow. Yes, in fact, uh, that's the sky. I'd also like to mention that, you know, when I checked with certain, uh, you know, TV, uh, you know, people who own TVs, that why don't you bring in good stories, you know, good content? So they were saying that the Ekta Kapoor serials have 
a monopoly. And I'm sure this is all through money power, not anything else, because the, the content is what? You just start with something and go straight into sex. That is the content that they have. So it's not content. It is money power that makes them give their products all over. Ishani says, it is very biased. Once she likes someone, that person is everywhere and will defend that person saying that it's a hard work when it's simply favoritism. Uh, Touch the Sky says, hypocrisy is when Sunny Leone is appreciated and actors like Yami, who are openly proud of being homely and Hindu, are not supported. Yes, including foul, uh, foul language. Absolutely. Welcome, Priya. Welcome, Vinny. Thank you so much, Samina. And Nina says, Bollywood is only interested in making money. They do not understand how they damage the young generations. So this, this is an example I told you about. And then see, now, uh, if, you, if you talk about people like, uh, you know, there is a person uh, called Uday uh, Mahorka, you know, who is very, very, uh, you know, uh, uh, vociferous on uh, Twitter. So he's, he's saying that Bharat is sitting on a nuclear bomb of sexual perversion, which could destroy it in a few years due to the menace of sexually perverted content being dished out day and night. In the latest, as I spoke to you about the Andhra case, now uh, time to come out in support of safe cultural, safe Bharat, you know, mission, which is waging a countrywide battle against perverted content makers to save, save our daughters and sisters and our future generations. So this is a very, very important fact. I remember, uh, your friends, when the Nirbhaya case happened, in the Nirbhaya case, the youngest, the minor, all of them had watched this kind of content before they had gang raped and torn her to pieces. So this is something we have to take very seriously. Yes. Samina says, yes, yes. Now, uh, moving on to, uh, you know, then of course, people are, uh, people know that she's, she puts her fingers into each and every pie. The next thing what she did was in 2022, she came up with a, uh, you know, a live show, which is called, which was called Lock Up. And again, here, she was accused of plagiarism. So you can see that she, uh, you know, she is caught, she's pulled up, you know, she is exposed. And yet, you know, nothing happens to her. Now, she was a producer of the live show Lock Up, which landed in legal trouble after the city civil court of Hyderabad ordered a ban on the show from streaming on any platform as per Bollywood Life. On Friday, the, uh, on, on that particular you know, uh, week, the chief judge at the city civil reportedly passed an injunction order on the streaming of Ekta Kapoor's reality show Lock Up. And uh, you remember, this was uh, something that uh, Kangana had, uh, you know, anchored, and it uh, it was accused of copyright infringement, and the matter reached the court when petitioner Abdul Halim Beg Aka Sanobar Bhai claimed that he is the sole uh, rights holder of the script and the concept of the series. Now the Hyderabad court issued a stay on the lockup after conducting a trial and cross-checking all the documents submitted by Bay. In the wake of the court passing the in injunction order, the respondents Ikta Kapoor of Alt Balaji, uh, MX Player, and Entimol Chain have been reportedly restrained from exhibiting the lockup series on any electronic media, social media, OTT platforms, and other mediums. Now, in the court petition, the plaintiff Bay reportedly described how the concept of the chain was developed and submitted details of the money invested by him in various stages of the concept development. It was further added that the construction of the jail was delayed due to the imposed lockdown owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the plaintiff claimed that the sole concept of the show was stolen from him. The petitioner's counsel, Jagdishwar Rao, said that the city civil court of Hyderabad issued the grant of injunction order on April 29th. This was reportedly delivered to the makers of the show. The counsel added that the creators were not complying with the court and were violating the injunction order. So you see, this don't care attitude, the fact that she's not, she's least bothered about, uh, you know, what people say, what the courts say, itself shows that she has, she has powerful connections with uh, the top politicians. So this is something that has rescued her all the time, you know. So thank you, uh, Nina. 
uh, Ikka has a very blessed nature. Once her serials uh, are over, she fails to recognize the junior actors, yet people praise her in front of Yes. Uh, Raj Kundra and Ikta, same category. Absolutely. I'm sorry to say our land is uh, for girls easily available for everything. I myself experience all of this uh, now a retired teacher. Okay. Uh, since Rajput died, I hate Salman Khan Shahrukh. They're very bad but showing very they care for poor people. I prefer watching the Pakistani serials and unfortunately, slowly even following the same. No, it's th that is nothing. Uh, there's nothing wrong in that uh, seminar because I've also seen Pakistani serials. They're very well done and they have very good content. So there's nothing wrong in saying what is good. And when they do not show anything obscene, I wonder why they do it in these serials. So this is something that uh, we are discussing. Now, Wolf says people are only paying to watch all the crap on AD OTT. Why not watch something productive on YouTube or some other uh, platforms? Welcome, Ray. Yes. Now, as you, as you know, uh, people are also scared of this woman. And many people do not like to mess up with her. But there was one actor who was quite bold. And we are talking about Pulkit Samrat. So let me just get to that picture. Now, Pulkit Samrat, who was launched by her as Lakshya in Kyunki Sasmi Kabi Bahuti in 2007, stormed out of the show midway through non payment of dues and was thereafter reportedly blacklisted by Balaji Telefilms. Now, you look at the modus operandi of this woman. She makes it so difficult for newcomers to come. And if they do not want to work with her, she'll make it difficult for them to leave. And if they leave, she'll make sure that he is banned from other productions as well. So you'll see the, you know, like her, her hands stretch out like claws. And this is what they did to Sushant Singh Rajput also. Now, most people who have worked with her have remained tight-lipped about what goes on in the Balaji studios. But there was an actor, as I said, who was bold enough to expose her and Shobha Kapoor and also sued her. It was Pulkit Sharma. He said that Ikta still owed him money. After some time, he brought a lawsuit against Ikta uh, with no resolution to this issue. Now, actor Pulkit, who played Laksha in ba Balaji's uh, Kyunki Sasbi Kabib Bahuti, uh, you know, and uh, he uh, he says that his earlier his mentor was Ikta. He took his mentor to court for non-payment of dues and got a ruling that would resonate with hundreds of television actors. Now, Justice, uh, uh, you know, D.Y. Uh, Chandrachur of the Bombay High Court at that time appointed an arbitrator, as I said, and instructed Ikta Kapoor not to arm twist the actor and stop him from working for other producers outside Balaji. Now, you can just imagine the situation. See, you are a young actor or an actress and you don't have a, uh, you know, you don't have a job and you are living in Bombay, Bombay, which is so expensive. And this producer is making it difficult for you to get any new job. So this is called the mafia system. Either you, you know, bend down and become my slave, or I will make sure that you do not get any food. In other words, job. Now, Pulkit, who came from Delhi to become an actor, was working for Balaji since June 2006. Now, after the first few uh, initial months, his role was whittled down to a few lines, leaving him with little work. When he complained and wished to work outside Balaji, he was shown the contract. The fine print which read that he was beholden to the serial and to the production house for three years. In other words, like a slave, he was tied to this Balaji, uh, Ikta Kapoor's Balaji uh, productions for the, for the next three years. The actor was also not paid for several months and his dues accrued to rupees 3.24 lakhs. When the actor insisted on seeking work outside Balaji, he says they floated false stories in the media that he had been sacked and which prompted him to sue Ikta and the production house. He was not given any work between November and January, nor was he allowed to work with other companies. Nobody is giving him work because of the said contract, argued Pulkit's advocate S.U. Kamdar. So you can see, now in the, uh, we are talking not only about Pulkit, we are talking about many people who have complained that this is the modus operandi. She will first take you then make you, you know, uh, you know, sort of crouch and ask for money. And if you don't get money, then she will make sure that your life is miserable. Then if you want to leave, then they show you the contract. 
And once they show you the contract, you cannot leave. And if you do leave, then they will make sure that you don't get a job anywhere else. So this is not a, a one-off. Many people have had the uh, courage to say, uh, speak about this. Even some people who have come on our channel have also spoken about how they use their muscles, you know, to intimidate people. So as an actor, he said that I have the right to grow and move on from run one role to another. I enjoy playing Lakshya, but I can't play Lakshya for the rest of my life. And I have the right to choose my roles. What has been happening in the TV industry is very wrong. And someone has to speak up. But everybody is scared. So they keep quiet and take it. Even the judge said in a court that it's wrong to stop an actor, anchor from working in different, uh, and stop an actor, sorry, from uh, working in different uh, projects. In fact, he even said that such contracts shouldn't exist in the industry and should be abolished, the actor told the media. Didn't he read the contract carefully before signing away his career for life? Is the next question. The boy, Pulkit says, that was my fault. I read the brief of my role carefully. Besides that, so he says that, uh, yes. So he re read the details. And uh, yes, just one second, hold on, please. And I have the right to, yeah. So he said that even the uh, judge in the court said that it's wrong to stop an actor from working in different projects. In fact, he even said that such contracts shouldn't exist in the industry. And yes, he said that I read the brief of my role carefully. Besides that, there was some desperation and no legal advice. So I signed. Pulkit has worked for Balaji for one and a half years, but he insists that he actually played Lakshya for only about five months. After that, there was nothing left in my character, he says. Junior artists had more lines than mine. Very often, all I had to do was answer the bell. If any, uh, anybody rang the bell, then I had to open the door. I didn't come all the way from Delhi to uh, do this, so I wanted to move ahead. He tried to sort out things amicably with Ikta Kapoor. He says, though I'm not, I have nothing against her, <clears throat> she has given me a major break. But the work atmosphere in Balaji is not healthy. There are very few people who feed Ikta with information that she reacts to, uh, that information. So the rest of our viewpoints didn't get across to her. She prefers to trust those people. I did talk to Ikta and apologize too. But she said it was nothing personal. The company has to take certain steps in professional matters. Wasn't he afraid of taking on Ikta Kapoor? After all, there are, uh, these are the powers that make or break careers in the TV industry. I'll never be able to go ahead if I think that way, he said. No one can snatch my destiny. Earlier, people told me that it was Balaji's marketing capabilities and not my talent that made me. But why would Balaji sell something if they knew the producer the, or the product was bad? Obviously, the product was good. If I do well, I'm sure I get some work. He also decided that he would read every contract at least 10 times before signing. Pulkit moved the uh, higher court after he terminated the contract with Balaji on January 12th. His petition says, BTL violated the June uh, 1, 2006 agreement by not paying rupees 5,000 per day as promised to him. The actor said his role was snipped to a minor one despite the fact that he was promised a major role. I did not make any commitments to any other channel or television serial. BTL had signed the actor in June 2006 for a period of three years and the contract said he would work for the company exclusively for 30 days in a month at the payment of rupees 5,000 per day. Now, he also challenged a clause in the agreement that says BTL shall have the sole opinion uh, op option of terminating this agreement. So everywhere you see that uh, uh, Ikta has the upper hand. And uh, as, as we know, uh, what uh, Chandrachud also, uh, Justice Chandrachud also said, just in the end, he said, pending arbitrator's order, you will not take any coercive steps to preclude him to apply for some other commercial endorsements, he said. Now here, you know, uh, while uh, we, we all know that why Pulkit would say like that, because, uh, you know, uh, he has to work in the industry. But when he works in the industry, he has to be very careful because tomorrow he, he may be, you know, approaching friends of Ekta Kapoor. And that, and that would, you know, that's important because uh, he should keep her in the, you know, in good books. But we all know that, see, when uh, a, a person owns a company, whether it's a production company or any other company, 
that person makes the decisions. So it was Ekta Kapoor who was making all these decisions for these young actors and actresses who did not have much say. Yeah. So Nina said, so, yes, absolutely. They are not wolves. They are very disgusting, all of them. Yes. You have told me not to call you that. Okay. It's sad that once upon a time her father was such a renowned actor, but unfortunately is doing such a cheap step. Yes. Then we talk about her close connection with a man who has been accused of couch casting in TV industry. So let us move to that. Yes. That person. Now, videos of an actor, uh, Vikas Poker. So let me just move on to that. Yeah, we, videos of, uh, so I don't have a picture of him. So videos of an actor, Vikas Koker, uh, who was an MTV Rodies winner, it was went viral, uh, where he said that he was asked to send nude pictures of his body to uh, this man. His name is Vikas Gupta for audition purposes. And also to go to his flat and give him a massage at around 10.30 p.m. Now this video, went wire. Now, this man has been said to be a great one for, uh, you know, asking youngsters, young men to, uh, you know, do, you know, to, in the couch casting scenario. So, this, this man is also the blue-eyed boy of Ikta Kapoor. So, in, in there are many controversies, even here there is a controversy. It is said that, you know, when uh, he was uh, a part of the Big Boss. It was said that Ekta Kapoor decided to reach out to the channel, at that time it was Colors, and put in a word and the post further stated that Ekta actually threatened to never work with Colors if they did not make Vikas the winner. So you can see how these people move because I remember, you know, when people were talking about Nachbali, that is also her, a program, how she would decide who the winner was. Despite the fact that, you know, there were many uh, people who were better than, you know, the winners at that time, she would only have her own favorites and she would choose among them. And then, of course, she had vested interests in them. And that is the reason why she would make them uh, the winners. So, uh, Winnie says, sorry to say, her dad was also very romantic and used to have many affairs. Offspring. Yes. Now, when uh, uh, Vikas Gupta, so let me just go to the controversy and then we'll talk about this man in detail. Now, when Vikas Gupta was locked in the house with Big Boss 2, it is said that Ekta and Vikas were quite close. And uh, apart from a working relationship, they also bonded on a personal level. With Ekta being, uh, you know, at a, a powerful position, being at a powerful position, a certain section had been accusing the producer of using her association with colors in pushing Vikas ahead in the game and even planning his win. Now, the duo have a long-standing relationship that almost two decades old now. They're seen chilling out with each other and they've gone on vacations together with other friends. So, we, we you know, then the question comes that who is this Vikas? So, Vikas, uh, you know, Gupta, who is this Vikas Gupta? Now, this producer Vikas Gupta began with Balaji uh, Telefilms as a creative head with shows like Kyunki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuthi, Mahabharat, Yis Desh Mein Hai, Mera Dil. Vikas went on to produce uh, genres like Gumra, Webbed, and many more. And he also became known for his show MTV Ace of Space and after his participation in the reality show Big Boss 2. This man was born in Dehradun of Uttarakhand. He started his career as a visual artist in 2010. After this, Ikta Kapoor liked his work and she offered him a position of creative head in Balaji Telefilms. He was behind the, they said, behind the success of serials like Kyunki Saas Bhi Bahu Uthi. A few years later, he started his own production house, Lost Boy Productions. Many shows like Gumra, Ye Hai, Ashiki were under his banner. He, has, he also did reality shows of which MTV Ace of Space became famous among youngsters. In Big Boss, his fight with Shilpa Shinde of Babiji Gharpar Hai fame was the highlight of the season. 
Now, one of the biggest revelations he made about his life in social media post in 2020, he opened up about being a bisexual. He even said that his parents had severed all ties with him after they came to know about his sexuality. He described this period as a very difficult time in his life. However, his mother, while acknowledging that they severed ties with Vikas and said that his sexuality is not the reason, according to her, their relationship was strained way before he became a bisexual. Now, as per a report in uh, media, Disha Patni, you remember, Disha Patni and uh, Parth Samthan were reportedly together in 2030, and they broke up within a year when she found out that the actor was cheating with this producer, Vikas Gupta. Now, once she got a hint about his cheating, it was then she decided to end everything. Now, a report in uh, La Laughing Colors quotes a person in the know saying, Parth Samthan was bi bisexual and along with Disha, he was having an affair with former Big Boss contestant Vikas Gupta. The moment when Disha came to know that Parth was cheating on her, she decided to end the relationship. He also stated that she was heartbroken when she came across pictures of Vikas and Parth. When Parth rubbished all the claims of being involved with Vikas, producer Ekta Kapoor revealed now, see the way she, this lady makes mischief. She revealed that the two were actually in a relationship. In a past conversation, she told a news channel, Vikas and Parth were close to each other and were in a relationship. Parth had accused Vikas of touching him inappropriately on December 7, 2013, and 20 days later, he was with Vikas holidaying in Bangkok. I know because I was also there to bring in the new year. I have seen several videos of him professing his love for Vikas is what uh, Ikta Kapoor said. So you see, the way she, you know, uh, she builds people up, she, and if she likes them, she protects them. It's all like a mafia. You know, she does everything to make sure that that man doesn't fall into problem. Now, this Vikas uh, considers uh, Shobha Kapoor as his guru and, uh, and Ikta as his uh, Rakhi sister. Now here, see, you will see, uh, if you look at this, uh, uh, you will find that uh, Shobha Kapoor uh, says that, you know, she is the one who actually, uh, you know, sort of was a, like a guru. Now, Vikas had all the adulation, love and respect for Shobha as well. He unhesitatingly says, yes, of course, Shobha auntie taught me how to handle a successful business. She uh, teaches you to know each, each and every person in your company, no matter what. Uh, level they work and has taught me to sign checks myself. So I build a strong connect with uh, everyone. Giving away a humble side of Shobha, he said, Shobha auntie told me uh, to know my moral values and stick to it. Everyone has different set of values and she taught me to stick to mine and not fluctuate depending on the market status. So here you see, friends, that it's very strange, you know, that how you know, how uh, this man says that uh, Shobha was his, uh, Shobha Kapoor was his, uh, you know, his guru. When you, you know that when she says that you should follow uh, moral values and things, uh, what, what exactly was Ekta Kapoor teaching him and uh, the people who worked with her is my question. So did not uh, Shobha Kapoor teach Ekta Kapoor uh, these values and these moral things that uh, uh, she should follow? And what sort of uh, serials or movies she should make? So that did not uh, morality did not come in there, Shobaji. So is my question to her. Now, if you look at uh, you know the uh, moving back to Vik Vikas. Now Vikas became a sort of a uh, you know a family uh, family name. And uh, when he became the Big Boss uh, season two contestant, uh, they went to the Siddhi Vinayak Temple in Mumbai. Now the the three of them. You know, we are talking about uh, uh, Shob uh, Ekta Kapoor and uh, Baby Lakshya. All of them were there. And uh, she then uh, wrote, uh, you know, on uh, uh, Twitter or Instagram, she wrote that posing with one star, Laku, and walking with the other star to see the Vinayak who got mobbed. Now, his stint in uh, Salman Khan's reality show, Big Boss, gave him a title of Mastermind. And ever since he was welcomed, every season to give tips to the contestants about playing smart games. Now, Ikta would communicate with him through videos as well. 
Once she shared a video with Vikas and wrote al alongside it, it's your birthday, love, and it falls on Buddh Purnima. Uh, there are many things I have problem with, your persecution complex, your fights with people, much below you in strength and dignity, your anger and need to get even with uh, who hurt you, your crazy mind. Now you see how she's uh, dealing with them as though they are her children and she's telling them what to do. Now, when somebody is giving some advice, they themselves to be very need to be very model. Now, who is this person who's giving her, giving him advice? It's Ikta Kapoor. Now, class of 2020 on OTT, Alt Balaji was held by uh, Vikas Gupta. And uh, Ikta then took to social media to share that this, this show was a huge success. And he said, thank you, Ikta, for believing in Lost Boys again. And success of class of 2020 has proven that content is king and bigger than star power and even money. Now, he he's also very close to the family, especially her son, surrogate son, Ravi, for whom he does a lot of shopping, like an indulgent uncle. He buys many teas, Batman bag, and Spiderman sets for him. Now, Ikta also shared on Instagram that she called Vik uh, Vikas a star. And during Boss uh, Big Boss 2, uh, it became known that Ikta and Vikas shared close ties with the former being a mentor to him. In fact, it was also rumored that it was an influence which got Vikas to the finals. There was a time when uh, Ikta was very angry with him. In fact, it was so bad that Vikas Gupta had to hide from her for a month before apologizing to her. Now, being friends, Ekta was all set to launch Vikas into the entertainment world with Pyar Ki Ye Ek Kahan, uh, released in 2010. The show was initially ent entitled Pana. Now, Vikas landed the role of a werewolf in this before he left the project. After, then he, uh, after shooting for only four days, he left the project. In an interview, he said why he left the supernatural show on Star One, saying that Ekta Kapoor was about to launch me in Pyar Ki Ye Ek Kahani, where I was playing a werewolf and Vivian uh, Sena was playing the vampire. In fact, I had even shot for four days and I hated it. I hated the experience of acting so much that I ran away, made some losses for Ikta and got fired very badly. I hid for a month from her and then I came back and apologized. Here, friends, I would also like to say that this would have been the time when, uh, you know, the other movie, uh, I don't uh, get the name, but of course, the Hollywood movie on, uh, you know, vampires. And werewolves had become popular. I, yes, Twilight Zone. Yes, Twilight. Yeah. And so I think she was trying to copy from that also. So everywhere you see that uh, content is never her original stuff. Now, Vikas revealed that the reason behind exiting the show, yes, I walked out of the show and, I, and I'm no longer a part of the show. Stating the reason, he said the reason was the disagreement with the show and the character. Otherwise, I would have liked to thank the production for giving me such a great opportunity. And I hope the show does well. Because then, uh, was then later after this, he was sued by Parth Samthan for molesting him. Now, while an ugly legal uh, battle ensued between uh, Parth Samthan and the show's producer, Vikas, uh, Ikta Kapoor, uh, Ikta, yes, while this happened, had dropped a bomb by saying that the two were actually in a relationship and, in fact, the duo holidayed in Bangkok after the alleged molestation. So you see that she's clearly protecting uh, Vikas Gupta. Vikas and Path were close. As I told you, she spoke about the whole thing. And she said that she has seen them in New Year uh, at uh, Bangkok, and they were very much in love with each other. Now, this was said in an interview to DNA. Now, according to reports, Path sent a legal notice to Vikas Gupta in December over molestation charges, non-payment of dues, and the fact that Vikas was allegedly threatening to ruin his career. The actor had also lodged a complaint at the once over police station and given a statement as per a TRI report. Now, Ekta Kapoor, you know, after this uh, web series Punch Beat, which happened in 2021, Ekta Kapoor posted videos on Instagram while conversing with Vikas. She told him that he had to do the second season of uh, Punch Beat, but he refused. While they were conversing, Alt uh, Balaji CEO Nachiket uh, Pantwaidya entered the room and Ekta asked him to stop everything and make Vikas shoot Punch Beat Season 2. However, Vikas was not convinced. He even revealed that he nearly had a nervous back breakdown. I'm not doing the second season of Punch Beat. I almost got a nervous breakdown doing that show. 
Now, Ik, she, look, you can also see that Ekta Kapoor doesn't care to hoots about what they feel or they undergo, even the emotional, uh, you know, this thing. They, she just, just doesn't bother. She, uh, Ikta Kapoor wasn't convinced with his answer. She even talked to him about public demand for the second season. What are we going to do about punch meat if you are not going to do the second season? People are asking for the second season. They've watched all the episodes in one day. Now, Vikas gave an excuse of not getting dates of the actors. Sab bohut bade stars ban chuke hai. Date hi nahi kisi ke paas. But this did not deter Ikta Kapoor. She asked him to start working on the show and that she would get everybody's dates. Now, in an interview for Telly Stars, which was done just a few days before he contracted uh, COVID, Vikas took questions even on his friction with his parents and his brother, uh, owing to his sexuality quite comfortably. I was a very emotional person and used to react a lot. With time, I have understood that I don't have to react with everybody, else it gives mileage to other people. Hence, I rarely give interviews these days. Now, here you should also uh, remember, friends, that he, uh, you know, uh, there was another actress who uh, committed, uh, you know, who was killed, uh, murdered, of course, and they said that it was a, a suicide. You remember, Pratyusha Banerjee. So she was also his girlfriend till she realized that he was bisexual and she broke up with him. Now, what we've been talking about, friends, is that the way people are manipulated in this industry and the way they, they in turn manipulate others and you see how they change character and become different people and how they themselves exploit others. So this is kind of viral. It becomes infectious. And this is what they're spreading in all of the TV industry. There have been many people who've said that they left the industry because of all the kind of uh, rules and uh, regulations they put in these uh, you know, contracts that they make. And uh, they just have to comply. Many, many uh, actresses have said that in Mumbai, they have lived in small houses, you know, small flats in very minimum space. And they were working for these sort of production homes and they were not paid well. Sometimes they were not paid for three months. So it is all this kind of exploitation that they do in the production homes. And yet they are seen as the Zarina, you know, of the industry. And they are given awards like Padma when they have not contributed anything to society. In fact, they have only destroyed society. And they are doing it even now systematically. So I believe that, you know, if, if uh, you know, when we speak about all this, it is our mission, friends, to unite India against sexually perverted content makers on OTT, social media, and AV platforms, who are biggest threat to our culture. And we need to speak about it all the time and to bring it to the front because if we keep silent, these people will continue and our generations will be lost to us. So this is a request from my side that please speak whenever you get the, uh, you know, the chance. Speak openly about it, you know, criticize it. Uh, just like boycott Bollywood movement happened, this industry should be told that if they do not follow uh, you know, moral values and moral uh, you know, ethics and, you know, and respect other people's religion, then they cannot have any space in the, the visual media. So let me just take a few comments. Uh, Vinny says, Urvashi Dholakya is also a, a favorite. Because yes, absolutely. He was behind the Sidnast. That's it. Yes. So with this, we end the session, friends. Please uh, write your comments and please talk about it and try to understand that. See, when we do all this research and we bring out all these stories, it is important that you react, you share these videos, and you subscribe if you have not subscribed, because reality has to move further than just this video. And please do not think that this is only one person's role to do this or one person's mission to do this. For the next generation's sake, we need to have a strong social fabric where our children, you know, have a lot to face, a lot to, you know, look for, forward to in future. Ma'am, if any young male or female wants to make a career in entertainment industry and acting, then where he or she should go? 
Uh, see, I'm I'm really not sure because the, see, as we expose, we are not talking about uh, alternate uh, you know places because uh, we really don't know because ultimately, even if they go someplace, they come back to the same industry, and then the same industry you know treats them the way they want. So ultimately, you know, you have no choice. So unless the whole system is uh, cleaned up, you know, there is no scope for change. Good night. Jai Hind, Jai Shri Ram.